Hello and welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm gonna be running through the most common mistakes that students make during Freshers' Week. So with that being said, let's get straight into things. So the first mistake that I see students make during Freshers' Week is that they either go out every single night and end up shattered, or they go out no nights at all. Now, what I would say is the best piece of advice is to try and find a middle ground. You don't have to go out every single night if you don't want to, but equally, I recommend going at least to a few nights out. You don't necessarily have to drink. You can just go out, meet some new people, and try and have a good time. So that's my first piece of advice. My second piece of advice is that students often believe that, say if they don't drink, for example, then they can't go to nights out, or they won't enjoy themselves on nights out, and that is absolutely not the case at all. There's plenty of students that decide not to drink. They still go to their nighttime events and also there's, there's so many daytime events as well. So many sober events options available as well for our freshers. So don't fear, that's definitely not the case. Freshers is an opportunity for everyone to settle in the university, meet new people and have an amazing time. The next mistake that I see freshers make every year is buying fake tickets. Now, it can be very easy. It's a very easy trap to fall into of buying fake tickets, but don't buy any tickets is my advice if it's not either affiliated to your university or if it's for a reliable source that you know or say if you've had a friend that's been in the past year that's bought tickets from that company or gone to that event in the past because there's a lot of places out there that will try and provide you fake tickets and then you just end up wasting your money and it's a shame. So that's my next piece of advice is to watch out and be cautious. Make sure you're double checking your tickets from a reliable source as you don't wanna be buying fake tickets. Freshers flu is the topic of the next piece of advice and you've all probably heard of it at one point or another if you're set to go to university. And I'll be honest, I again, before coming to university was unsure of how big of a thing it was, whether it was over exaggerated, but trust me, if you get freshers flu, you get freshers flu, and chances are you will get it at one point or another. So make sure you're prepared for freshers flu, just stock up on some medicines. Um, just ahead of going to university, it's always a good idea to have some medicines because if it hits you, you don't want to be going out and having to rely on sources or having to go out and get your own medicine while you're out. So just make sure you're stocked up, make sure you're prepared just in case you do get freshers flu, as chances are with all the people you're mixing with that you will pick it up at one point or another. But that's just my advice, is to be prepared ahead of picking it up. Another piece of advice ahead of going into Freshers' Week is to make sure you've got a contact list or card payment of one form or another. So a lot of places nowadays are going and operating on a no cash policy, so make sure you've got either a card or a no cash or a contact list option, like I say, just to cover yourself in case you come across somewhere where cash isn't taken. The next advice is something that comes up every single year, and you've probably heard about it at one point or another, but it's the idea of hooking up with a flatmate. Now, by all means, if you decide to do that, fair enough, I'm not gonna stop you, but just a piece of advice that if you do decide to get with a flatmate, then if things don't work out, it can get a bit awkward a lot of the time. So that's just a heads up. If you do decide to do that, I necessarily wouldn't advise it, but um, as a heads up, be prepared for the consequences if things don't quite work out. Something else I recommend, and I see a lot of students not doing, is not going to the daytime events. So in freshers, you have your nights out and you also have daytime events. And these are honestly actually really good most of the time. So it can vary, year on year, different activities going on, but um, just try and not be hung over for the whole day. Try and, if you're going out on a night out and you do decide to drink, just know your limits so that you can still go and enjoy some of the daytime activities as well, because I definitely recommend them. They are really good fun and they're another element of freshers that's a really good chance to meet people and getting involved in some stuff that you've probably not ever done in your life at one point or another before. So that ties in nicely to my next piece of advice is that freshers for a lot of people is perhaps one of the first few times they're going out properly. And if you're going out and you're not quite sure what your limit is, then just take it easy. Freshers last either a week or two weeks depending on the university you're at. So make sure you pace yourself. If you do decide to drink, then know your limits and make sure you do eat as well before going on a night out. Sometimes people can make the mistake of not eating and there's nothing worse than someone who's drunk too much, not eating at all, and it just never ends well. On the topic of nights out, another thing to be aware of is that obviously if you're going out, you've got different theme nights, so you'll either have a freshers theme or a hall theme, depending upon what university you're at, what they kind of do as their freshers schedule, I suppose. And um, it's just important to be aware that at university, dressing up and getting involved in the themes is not silly at all. Like, everyone does it. 
everyone gets dressed up, everyone's all part of it, it's all part of uni culture, it's all part of just having a good laugh, so don't be afraid of dressing up, don't be afraid you're not going to be judged or anything like that, honestly everyone gets involved, you're all students at the end of the day, you're all just there to have a good time, so don't let anything about that worry you, just get involved and have a good laugh and enjoy the moment. Something else that's important to bring up is that unfortunately you'll find this pretty much everywhere in the world in one instance or another, is that spiking is an issue, obviously we've seen it recently, uh, in recent years it's an increasing issue and it's really sad to see so if you're going on a night out firstly make sure you're watching the drinks and secondly uh, don't be afraid to get a stop topper so you can go for example at our university Loughborough you can go to the Union Bar ask for a stop topper and then put that on your glass so, so that your drink can't be spiked as it's really sad to see and it's disgusting that people do do that but um, it's just a peace of mind to be aware of it's just something to make sure you're aware of ahead of going on a night out so that you can enjoy yourself and so you don't get any incidents as the last thing I'd want any of you guys to have is to be spiked so just make sure you're protecting yourself and you're protecting your friends on nights out and don't be afraid to ask for a stop top if you're ever on a night out. Also in Freshers Week you will have your introductory lectures during that time period and my piece of advice is during this period to go to your introductory lectures as some people might say they're a waste of time or whatever but for me it just helped me familiarise myself with a lot of things ahead of term starting the next week after freshers I was just a lot more settled in and if I had any questions I got the chance to meet some of my lecturers or meet my personal tutor and again it's just like an, again another chance to meet new people so it just seems silly not to go to your introductory lectures also when it comes to familiarising yourself Make sure you're familiar with the emergency contacts within your area, so whether that be your family or your friends or the contact points at university. So, for example, one initiative that I did during my time at Loughborough was I was a welfare and diversity rep last year, and ahead of freshers, I made sure that all the freshers within Royce, so that was the hall I was welfare and diversity rep of, I made sure that all of my freshers had a basically a massive printout and they had a digital copy as well that had all the list of, say, the security, the local hospital numbers. Um, the wardens etc all the key contact points they can need in the university so if you can get access to that in any way possible I would definitely recommend it say if you're in halls uh, perhaps drop in a message to if you have a welfare and diversity rep or a hall chair etc or most of the time on the university websites you will find the key contact details just to make sure you're familiar with a few of them just in case anything does come up it's always nice and a bit more reassuring to have those contact details at uh, hand just in case anything does come up so you know that in that instance you are fully protected and you can enjoy yourself during your time at university. Another really, really important piece of advice ahead of Freshers' Week is to not worry if Freshers' Week isn't perhaps what you made it up to be or perhaps what you thought it would be. Um, a lot of people can overemphasize Freshers' Week and say it's the best week of your life, but don't get me wrong, Freshers' Week is amazing, but if you don't want to go out every night or if you're feeling sad or if you're feeling nervous or anxious at all that is absolutely fine um, it's really common to have those feelings and my best piece of advice if you're in that situation is to either open up to either if you've got friends back at home or you've got family or if you can really try and get along with some of your flatmates or, or just some friends making some friends early on and just like having a couple of conversations if you can get to that level that's really really beneficial um, and also at the university as well, like I say, during my time as well for university rep, I was made very familiar around the idea of mental health and how important mental health is. I've spoken about it a lot on the channel previously. And at most universities, certainly at my university, Loughborough, we have plenty of support services where, for example, we've got something called Nightline, which is a confidential uh, listening and hearing service. So for example, if you give them a call at Nightline, they listen to your issues, they're here the issues that you have to say and then provide you some advice back in the meantime as well as counsellors etc if you ever are struggling with some severe mental health issues or even some minor mental health issues as well that you want to nip in the bud a little bit early on so that's my key piece of advice is that Freshers Week is amazing but don't worry if you don't feel like you're having the best time of your life or if you're nervous or sad or anxious it's completely common and there's several support networks around you to reach out to and get in touch with if you are ever feeling like that during your time. And my final piece of advice is to just be kind and open to meeting new people as Freshers is probably one of the most insane experiences that you'll ever get to meet new people, try new things out, and if you go in there with a closed off mindset, you won't necessarily make the most of Freshers, whereas if you go in there with an open mindset, just like, cool, let's go in, meet as many new people, try as many new things out, just talk to whoever, whenever, it will give you so many chances to connect with people and open up a lot of opportunities, a lot of options actually on the way, 
just by engaging in conversations and just being open and up to try and do things out. So that's definitely a really valuable piece of advice that definitely for me has worked absolute wonders. It's enabled me to achieve so much during my time at university so far. Just getting involved with different people and getting involved in different activities as also a key thing at university as well is that you are all students, you share that in common, you're all head of going into is going to be thinking the same things most of the time or, or feeling the same sort of emotions or having the same sort of questions. So it's remembering that you're not necessarily just one odd person out going into a completely new environment. It can be intimidating, like I say, but also remembering that there's so many others around you that are thinking the exact same things and you'll figure that out the more you get to know people, you'll realise that they were feeling the exact same things that you were. So just getting in there, getting involved as much as possible and just making the most of your time because it's such an amazing experience and it's one that I can't wait for you guys to experience. So that is all for today's video. If you guys have found this useful, please be sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel. If you've got any questions or concerns, feel free to drop me a comment down below and I'll respond to it as soon as I see it. But that's all for today's video. I wish you guys all the best and I'll see you in the next video very soon.